In this video, I'm going to show you the proper way to change the hydraulic fluid and filter in your Kubota Standard L-Series tractor. The hydraulic fluid and filters are changed every 400 hours, and there are four steps to this task. Drain the old hydraulic fluid, replace the transmission oil filter, replace the hydraulic oil filter, and finally add the new hydraulic fluid. To drain the old hydraulic fluid, you'll need an oil filter wrench, an oil drain pan, a 14 millimeter wrench, and a 22 millimeter wrench. There are four drain plugs. The first two are on either side of the differential and require a 14 millimeter wrench. Position your pan under the first drain plug. I highly recommend you use a folded piece of cardboard to make sure the fluid goes into the pan and not on your floor. Remove the drain plug. Now you see why that piece of cardboard is so important. Adjust your pan as needed as the stream turns into a dribble. When it comes down to a drip, replace the drain plug and tighten it up. Repeat the process for the other side. For an HST transmission, the next two drain plugs are here and require a 22 millimeter wrench. On two wheel drive transmissions, the positions are slightly different. Loosen the rear drain plug and remove it, and be ready to move your drain pan if needed to catch the old hydraulic fluid. I'm wishing I'd put on nitro gloves right about now. Depending on the type of pan you have, you may have to keep moving it closer to the drain hole as the stream dies down. Once it dies down to a drip, replace the plug and tighten it with a wrench. Repeat the process for the front drain plug. I finally got icked out by the hydraulic fluid and put on nitro gloves. Not much left by the time I get to this one. In the future, I think I'll start with this one since the oil drains straight down. The others might not shoot out as far if I start with this one first. Put that last plug in and tighten it up. According to the operator's manual for the Kubota L3301 and L3901, the hydraulic oil filter is replaced every 400 hours. However, some Kubota models specify that it be changed at the first 50 hours, then every 400 hours after that. So be sure to check your manual to see what the recommended interval is for your tractor model. To replace the hydraulic oil filter, you'll need an oil filter wrench and an oil pan. However, if this is the first time you are changing the oil filter, you may need a few more tools. You'll see what I mean in a minute. You'll also need a new hydraulic oil filter of the type specified in your tractor manual. First clean off any dirt from the oil filter and filter mount area. Then using an oil filter wrench, loosen the filter. Um, or not. I must not have the right type of oil wrench. This one ought to do it. Or not. Maybe a little help from a persuader. Okay, clearly the wrong kind of persuader. Surely this will get it. Nope. Yes, of course, a pry bar. Nope. Maybe, just maybe, it's because this is the factory installed filter and it was installed before the tractor was painted, so the paint is acting like an adhesive. So maybe if I cut around the seam between the filter and the mount with a utility knife and then spray it with some WD-40, it might break loose. And finally it does. How did I learn this amazing trick, you ask? I googled it, of course. By the way, my oil pan is under the filter. 
You can see that the filter took quite a beating, but then again, so did I. Before installing the new filter, be sure to clean off the filter mount with a rag or paper towel. Notice that the old filter has a magnetic ring filter that filters out metal shavings. Your new filter should have one, but just in case it doesn't, save this one because you can clean off the shavings and reuse it if necessary. Yep, the new one has a magnetic filter. Good. Spread a thin film of new hydraulic fluid on the gasket of the filter. Then thread the new filter on until it contacts the mount, then tighten by hand an additional half turn only. To replace the transmission oil filter, you'll need an oil filter wrench, an oil pan, and of course, a new oil filter. One thing I like about the L-Series tractors is that all the filters are easily accessible. Before removing the filter, clean any debris off the top of the filter and filter mount. I had a lot of dirt and grass on top of mine. Position your oil pan under the filter, then use the oil filter wrench to loosen the oil filter. Once loose, unscrew the old filter by hand. Clean off any remaining dirt from the filter mount. Apply a film of new transmission oil on the rubber seal of the new filter. Screw the new filter on by hand until it contacts the mount surface. Tighten it one more turn after the first contact. By the way, this filter is replaced at 50 hours and then every 200 hours. The last step is to add the new hydraulic fluid. You'll need a funnel and a rag or a paper towel. And you'll need Kubota Super UDT2 hydraulic fluid. The number of gallons depends on your model of tractor and the type of transmission, so refer to your manual for the correct amount. If your tractor has this ROPS cross piece, you may want to remove it to make pouring the hydraulic fluid easier. Remove the fill cap and using a funnel, begin pouring in the hydraulic fluid. For HST L3301 and L3901 tractors, you'll need 6.2 gallons. Once I had six gallons in, I checked the dipstick to see how close I was to full. It's hard to see on camera, but we're almost there. Close enough to start the engine and let it circulate while checking for leaks. No leaks at the hydraulic filter. None at the rear drain plugs. And none at the transmission filter or other drain plugs. Great. After checking for leaks, turn off the engine, then check the dipstick again to see if you need to add any more hydraulic fluid. If it's close to full, add small amounts of fluid and then check the level again. Once it's full, put the cap back on and call it done. Well, I hope you found this video useful in helping you maintain your tractor. Remember, maintaining your tractor according to your manual is the best way you're going to get the most life and trouble-free operation out of your tractor. And if you found this video helpful in any way, uh, please click the like button, uh, leave a comment, and by all means, subscribe. And if you want to know when I post a new video, click that little bell. 
And as always, thank you for watching.